for the best water deals in town, your local needs. Fill up your 18.9 liter for the low price of only $2 or your 4 liter for only 50 cents. Pure Aqua Valley Water. John Moore here at the Civic Arena in Halifax, joined by 2017 New York Rangers sixth round pick Morgan Barron of Halifax. Morgan, it's a pretty good month of June. Uh, tell us a little bit about the, the draft and, of course, off the development camp after that, but uh, it's been a been a good stretch. Yeah, yeah, no, it's been a, a real busy month, but it was, uh, it was a lot of fun. It's something that only comes around once in a lifetime, and to be in Chicago to, to experience that with my family and then head off to New York, it was a lot of fun, so I really enjoyed it. Yeah, tell me about the excitement of the draft again, heading off to Chicago and uh, hearing your name called and, and then, of course, uh, meeting the Rangers. Yeah, it's definitely nerve-wracking, I think. I mean, to sit in that atmosphere um, for a few hours, I mean, it gets the nerves going, but it was a lot of fun. I mean, to hear your name called, I think it's a little bit of relief, but it's mostly excitement. And like I said, it's something that only comes around once in a lifetime, so I really enjoyed it. Yeah, of course, not long after that, you're off to the development camp. Uh, what were your expectations going in? And tell me a little bit about uh, you know what, what your what your attitude was going to that camp. Yeah, I knew it'd be a little bit different. I mean, playing prep up at Sandwich College, or I mean, it's a big jump from, from playing with guys who are uh, you know who haven't graduated high school to guys who a lot of them played major junior college or even had finished in college. So it was a jump, but I just wanted to go out and try to make an impression the best I could. And I was uh, I was definitely happy with the camp I had. It was a lot of fun and to be able to push your, push yourself against guys like that. It was uh, it was definitely a good experience. Anything learned at the camp? At the camp? Uh, I know it's not a, not a long camp, but uh, obviously your first brush with the pros. Mm. Yeah, no, you learn a lot. I mean, they have a lot of uh, little seminars and meetings and stuff like that on really everything, nutrition or off-season conditioning and all that stuff. So, I mean, you take a lot away, but I think probably the biggest thing is just what it means to be a pro. I mean, you see some of the guys around there who maybe played in the A or, or even guys who played in the NHL, and, and you really see what it takes and, and what they have to do to, to maintain at that level. So it was uh, definitely eye-opening. Off to Cornell in, in September, uh, but uh, hard to believe that uh, you never actually played for, for Team Nova Scotia, never played on the provincial program. Um, tell me about uh, how that disappointing that might have been. Yeah, it's obviously a little bit disappointing. I mean, I went to the camps and I'd always, uh, I was at the Indianish camp all three years and I think I put my best foot forward, but definitely I think a lot's changed since then. I've grown a little bit and uh, it was definitely motivating, I mean, to see the guys and be able to s compare yourself up against them and just try to improve every, uh, you know, every summer, every season. And I think I've done a good job with that. A lot has changed. So tell me about uh, the last last three years. How much uh, you feel that you you developed as a player? Yeah, I definitely took the, an unconventional route, I guess, among some of the other guys. I mean, a lot of my friends ended up playing major junior, and I think just a little bit more of a late bloomer than them. So uh, I took my time and I went up and played. I played two years midget in Dartmouth, and then went up and played two years uh, of crap up at St. Andrews College. So um, you know, it's not a route that's going to work for everyone, but it's definitely one that I think people should look at a little bit more. I mean definitely worked out for me and, and I'm really happy with how uh, things have gone over the last four years I guess my hockey career so I think it's been really good. Can you expand on the the fuel the motivation the fuel the fuel to to push and, and, and to continue with your ambition? Yeah I mean there's a lot of different things I think growing up and especially being a smaller kid it's uh, it's a little bit tougher to make impressions on the ice and things like that so um, for me especially when I started growing and, and I moved away from home a little bit I think I always wanted to make sure I could prove to people that you know, I was at the same level as some of those kids who maybe got picked for teams in front of me. Um, that being said, I've had great support, support cast, I guess, around me and my parents and things like that. So they've always, uh, you know, they've always they've all, they have always believed in me, sorry. And, uh, you know, I think that's, that went a long way, for sure. Never played in the provincial program. Maybe we can uh, start by talking just a little bit about the, the player he was then and the player he's become now. I, you know, it's tough to say uh, with regards to any one particular area of his game, but I think Morgan's had a giant uh, growing spurt, so uh, that's that's one issue. He, he wasn't uh, wasn't as big back then, but his skating has improved. His level of compete, I think, is probably the biggest thing. He competes so hard now, and uh, it's understand uh, understanding why he's uh, been drafted and going to Cornell right out of prep school. That's uh, that's a rarity in itself. So he's heading off to the NCAA to play with Cornell. He'll be a freshman this fall. Uh, tell me a little bit about what, what, you know, what he can expect uh, as he moves to that next level. So uh, with Cornell and with any of the Ivies, he's going to be uh, uh, saddled with a pretty heavy workload in school uh, as well. Uh, the practices, the regimentation is is something that he's going to have to get used to. Uh, every day is planned out for them, and uh, competition is also going to be quite a bit uh, 
quite a bit greater than he's used to. So th that's going to be a learning process probably right up till about Christmas, I would say. He's just, there's less space, very, very fast games. Mm -hmm.